When people live in areas that may experience natural disasters, such as flooding, tectonic events, or extreme weather, this creates a hazard. Risk is the chance or probability that something may occur to people or places exposed to hazards. It is often defined by the probability of an event's occurrence and its magnitude. Risk can be perceived, classified, and managed, especially in relation to the environment. But perceptions of risk are not always shaped around facts and figures, but around our identity, feelings, and emotions, our relationship to places, and our local environment. For centuries, humans have attempted to explain how extreme weather events and other hazards occur through myths and storytelling. For example, the ancient Greeks thought of their environment as alive. They told stories about rivers, trees, and mountains as living creatures with thoughts and emotions. There are lots of different ways we tell stories about hazardous landscapes. For example, through newspapers, social media, and through networks of families and friends. The stories we hear and tell influence our perception of risk. As the man continued down the tree, it cut more and more vital parts from the watching grand structure. The buildings outnumbered the trees and always would. Trees were dying out, and once the last of them was gone, there would never again be a tree in this world. We have the power to control the infestation of the bland concrete office blocks into places of natural wonder. Paper towns dying, frayed at the edges. But when comes the time when we'll finally address it? The birds didn't come to the tree anymore, and the tree could no longer see the land. When it all comes down to numbers, the world looks like receipts. But there are things we can't return that we do not want to keep. And a part of the world. The tree still stands today, a mere shadow of its former self. But one day it will wash the land again, be shelter again, and be cut down again. The natural world's important, it's been here longer than us. Scrap this paper landscape before we all get paper cuts. So, how do you understand your local environment and risk? How do you think stories have shaped your understanding? And what stories can you tell about your local area and environmental risk in this changing world facing global challenges?